Hi, this will be a short video on Sketch. And this video will talk about artboards and how to arrange, you know, projects in Sketch using artboards. Uh, let me open up Sketch here and create a new document. Okay, so here's a new document. And you might draw things in your document. Um, you know, like you might do this. Maybe you open up the um, canvas and you turn on the layout grid. And then, um, you know, you you draw a wireframe for a project here. Um, maybe I'll set a corner radius on that and then copy this a couple times. Um, you know, snap it, snap it to the columns there. Um, maybe I should have made this a little smaller. You know, so I'm, I'm kind of arranging a layout here. Um, and then maybe, you know, have another box here that's a little bigger and then there's a big area here. Okay, so so I've got this layout and then now I want to design some other stuff. So maybe I want to create an icon. So I go over here and I start with a circle, you know, and I give it a stroke of, you know, whatever size. And then uh, maybe no fill. And then I just put a box in the middle, you know, something like that. Maybe rotate it 45 degrees. And then maybe I, uh, I line these guys here. Okay, yeah, so I, I got my, my icon there. But now I kind of have a problem, right? Because um, maybe I'll set the color here like that, right? So, you know, I kind of have some artwork here, and then I have these, this other artwork here, and then I have these columns, and this is all in the same document. And, you know, I could kind of organize things by selecting these elements. There they are right there. And then I, I could choose a range, you know, group. And so groups are kind of cool, and I could call this like wireframe or something, right? And then maybe this, these guys right here, I'll, I'll group them together, um, group layers. And then I'll call these icon, right? But still, this is not that great of an arrangement. Really, maybe this needs to be in its own document. But if it's part of this project, it's kind of nice to have it in here. And then, you know, I can copy it when I need it. Like, you know, maybe, um, maybe you know, I, I might move this down here. And then I'm going to, you know, put this in my, in my design there. Oh, look, it's three columns almost exactly, right? Um, you know, maybe it's supposed to go up there. Um, it's not it's not very satisfying, right? So, and then you're wondering, like, what the hell is this guy talking about? Well, let's talk about artboards. So what, what the heck is an artboard? Well, an artboard is sort of like a separate drawing in Sketch, right? So you can move it to its own kind of document within this window, okay? Um, so artboards, and you can size the artboard, too. And the artboard, when you export it, you can export everything in the artboard. So the artboard also acts as kind of like a slice because it kind of defines the area for the drawing. Um, when you don't have, when you only have one artboard or you don't have separate artboards, then the whole screen looks like this. And this is just one giant artboard, okay? If you wanted to create artboards, then you'll see that it'll divide the space up, right? So let's do that. How do you create an artboard? Go to the Insert menu and choose Insert Artboard, right? So I'll do this, and um, I'm actually just to start with, I'm going to drag out like this and surround everything. And now I have an artboard that has all of my artwork. I lost my layout guide. I'll have to add that back later, okay? Um, I really want to move this... Um, this icon into its own artboard. So what I'll do is I'll go to insert and I'll choose artboard again. And just as a side note, um, you'll notice when you create an artboard, it gives you a menu on this side, on the right side, and you'll see the size of, uh, of a lot of common devices. So you'll see iPad Pro, iPad Landscape, iPad Portrait, um, iPad, you know, or iPhone 7, iPhone SE, you know, so all of the different sizes, like maybe this, I want to do a layout for the Apple Watch, so I'll choose the 42 millimeter watch, and you can see it makes an Apple Watch sized, you know, layout. I'm going to drag this guy over here. Um, come on. Come on, there we go, right? I'll drag him over here like this, 
and you can see this is one artboard and this is another artboard. And you can see the artboards kind of group all of your layers. So this artboard is empty, that's this one, and then this is the one over here. So I could call this one like my website, website artboard. This is the Apple Watch artboard, right? And maybe this icon, I'll drag it over to the Apple Watch artboard. So like all the artwork for the Apple Watch project goes in here. And this is like some other piece of that project, right? On its own artboard, right? Um, and then artboards, um, you know, you can kind of arrange groups and stuff in here. So you can see there's all the icon, there's the icon group. And then I can open this one up and you can see all the stuff there. So artboards are really cool, right? You can have as many artboards as you like. And if you want to export the artboard, you can click on its name up here. Okay, and then you can see the artboard like has these little handles around it, so you can change the size of it if you want. So uh, maybe I didn't really want to make this for the i for the i watch or the Apple Watch, right? Um, and maybe I just want to make this this like an icon. So um, I'll change the size here. Let's make it three hundred by three hundred, right? And then I can resize the artboard numerically there, right? Um, and then I can maybe snap this guy to the center of the artboard there. For some reason, he, he snaps this way, but he won't snap. I don't know. We'll just stick with that, right? And then if I if I click on the name of the artboard, um, you can set the background color. So this is if you if you want a background color, you can set it, and it says include and export, right? Or you can turn that off. And then at the bottom here, you can just click Make Exportable, and then you can export the entire artboard. So the size of this should be the 300 by 300 up here. And again, you can set the size down here. So if I wanted to change the export size, I can create a custom size down here. But if it's 1x, then it'll be the 300 by 300, the, the size of the artboard, okay? So artboards are pretty cool, and they give you a way to organize your project. Um, in the next video, I'll show you another way to organize your project into what's called pages, right? Um, so, uh, so uh, yeah, oh yeah, let me, let me mention one other thing, okay? Um, when you um, create a document, a new document, there's an option here, um, new, to, to make a brand new document, and then there's another option that says new from template. These templates um, can be useful if you're just starting a project and you want to do a particular kind of project. So you can start a, a web design project, a material design project. This would be like an Android app. Um, Mac app icon, you can do um, iOS UI design, okay? Let's try these for a minute. I'm going to choose the web design. So when I choose this one, it makes a new document. My new document looks like this. So what it's given me is it's given me th uh, four artboards. One for desktop high definition, uh, one for regular desktop, one for tablet in portrait, so this is like a tablet upright, and then one for mobile in portrait mode, okay? So this would be my mobile, this would be my desktop, and then it gives you these extra two. Maybe you don't need these for all projects, but if you want to create a really detailed, um, responsive site, you might want to rearrange your site for these situations. I mean, in general, really, we just have to cover the, um, the desktop and the mobile, right? But you might want to do something different on on tablet in portrait, right? So uh, so there you go. And uh, one more thing. So when you're when you're doing this, what you can do is you can assign a different layout grid to each one. They give you this kind of like note here. You can just delete that, you know, later. But you can read this, and it kind of gives you some ideas. But uh, it, they just kind of throw this into the template. But um, if you want to put a layout, you can put a layout in your desktop by going to View. Canvas show layout, and then, hey, wait a minute. Let me undo that. Let me click on this artboard and then do it, right? So you gotta select the artboard. Canvas um, show layout, there it is, right? So there's my 12 column grid. This should be about 960 or 1,000 across. If I go to the desktop version, I'll click on it to select it, and then I'll go to view canvas show layout, and there's my same grid here, right? And you could adjust these grids. I'll, I'll do that in a moment. I'll click on Tablet Portrait, and you'll see that um, the layout grid is kind of squashed, right? Because it can't quite fit, because this is wider than the portrait view. And if I go to the mobile um, 
uh, artboard and I choose uh, show layout grid, you'll see that the, the layout grid is really squashed, right? So what you can do is with, with the artboard selected, if you go to view canvas um, layout settings, you can change the settings, right? Let me actually move this over a little bit and then do that again. Okay, so, you know, I like this grid, but the 12 column grid maybe is more than I need. Maybe I only need a six column grid on my mobile device, right? And then I'll change the column width here. Um, I'll bump it up to maybe 40 pixels like that, maybe. I'll make it a little bit bigger like that, right? So maybe maybe this is the grid that I'm going to use on my mobile device, right? And then I could do the same thing for tablet portrait. Maybe um, maybe I want to change my grid size here, right? And you can adjust these two also, but since since this grid kind of fits here and here, you know, maybe you want to make this one wider. But anyway, th there, there you go, right? You can set a different layout grid for each of your artboards. So that actually makes the artboards even more flexible, right? So anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope that, that that's useful for you.